and Young. Today, let me tell you about the Unicode blocks of Hungary. It is encoded within the Hungary Syllables block and the Hungary Jamo block. These blocks ensure comprehensive representation of Hungary characters, supporting both syllables and individual Jamo. There are seven Unicode blocks where Hangul appears. Without further ado, let's explore the seven Hungary blocks. Number one, Hungary Jamo. In this Unicode block, there are 254 Hungary characters, broken down into 95 top characters, 71 middle characters, and 88 bottom characters. These top, middle, and bottom characters together form Hungary syllables. The top characters are broken down into 19 basic and 76 others. The middle characters are broken down into 21 basic and 50 others. Whereas the bottom characters are broken down into 27 basic and 61 others. The basic characters are used in Hungary syllables. The top characters' basic letters last until Unicode points 1100 to 1112. The middle characters last until Unicode points 1161 to 1175, whereas the bottom characters 11A8 to 11C3. The letters in this Unicode block form Hungary syllables. The whole Unicode block lasts from Unicode points 1100 to 11FF. Isn't it easy? Number 2. Hungary Compatibility Jamo. In this Unicode block, it contains both top and bottom letters, but not in their positions, top, middle, and bottom. Unlike Hungary Jamo, it contains everything at the center of the square. In simple words, they are just the letters that you find on a present-day Korean keyboard. If you type a letter, it just shows the Hangul compatibility Jamo value of that, but not with the bottom double letters. For example, Kriul Gyok. Even if you type it, it will show real and Gyok separately, so it does not show double letters. Take any double letter which appears at the bottom of the syllable, leaving Sang Gyok and Sang Shiok. You will see that the two letters will up appear separately if you write it on the Korean keyboard, not in one whole letter space. This Unicode block lasts from Unicode points 3130 to 318F. Number 3. Enclosed CJK letters and months. This Unicode block contains Hangul, Katakana, and CJK ideographs. The full form of CJK is Chinese, Japanese, Korean. Katakana is considered the most angular form of kana, which means syllabic writing in Japanese, primarily used for words of foreign origin. Now, coming back to the topic of the Unicode block. In this Unicode block, Hangul appears from Unicode points 3200 to 321E and 3260 to 327E in parenthesized and circled forms. All the circled katakana characters go at the last of the whole Unicode block. There are parentheses Ojon and Ohu, which mean AM and PM if you want to tell the time, and circle Chanko and Jui, respectively meaning reference and caution. You can see that there is a sign called Tsuki, which means month placed at the right of numbers 1 to 12, so that we can know that it's from January to December. Now, Coming back to Hangul, that it contains parenthesized and circled single letters with the vowel A. Ah. This whole Unicode block lasts from Unicode points 3200 to 32FF. Isn't it tricky? Number 4. Hangul Jamo Extended A. This Unicode block contains top syllable characters and extended the Hangul Jamo block a bit. This Unicode block lasts from Unicode points A960 to A97F. Number 5. Hungary Syllables. This Unicode block contains all the 11,172 syllables of Hungary. You know that one letter has 588 syllables, and I just made a video on Q called the 588 syllables of Korean, but not really 588. In fact, there is a format which I am going to tell in episode 5. The link is in the description below. Coming back to Hangul syllables, one letter has 588 syllables. These syllables can be 2, 3, 4 or 5 lettered 
adding up to 11,172 syllables in total. There are 19 top letters which are the same in Hangul Jamo and its name we are going to understand during episode 5, parts of a syllable. There are 21 middle letters meaning the vowel part of a syllable and 19 times 21 is equal to 399. Now we got 399 and multiply one number to get 11,170. Yes, you're right. It's the bottom part of a syllable which contains 27 letters. And the 28th one is an empty bottom letter. So we have to multiply 28 to get 11,172. And by the way, this Unicode block lasts from Unicode points a C zero zero to D seven A F. Oh my God. Number six. Hungry Jamo extended B. This Unicode block contains middle and bottom syllable characters. There is a four block gap between them and extended the Hungry Jamo block a bit more. This Unicode block lasts from Unicode points D seven B zero to D seven F F. Number 7. Half width and full width forms. This is the second last Unicode block in the BMP, also known as the basic multilingual plane, before the last one called specials. In this Unicode block, there are full width forms from FF00 to FF5E of Unicode characters 0021 to 0070E. There are also half width forms of katakana and hangul, except that katakana letter wo is placed first in the half width katakana series. The whole half width series of katakana was from the Unicode block katakana. The whole half width series of hangul was from hangul compatibility jamo. After that, there is a one block gap between full width and half width signs. Full width signs were from FFE0 to FFE6 and half widths were from FFE8 to FFEE. It included Japanese punctuation like a full stop, a comma, and a katakana middle dot, a dakuten, and a han dakuten. This whole Unicode block lasts from Unicode points FF00 to FFEF before the Unicode block called specials. So there you have it. These were the seven Unicode blocks where Hangul appeared. And in the next episode, we are going to learn about the letter Eum and its properties. Like so, Tobhoja!